Yankee Doodle was written by the British to mock Americans. Doodle is thought to come from the German doddle, meaning fool or simpleton, and macaroni, a flamboyantly stylish type of dress, painting the Yankees as morons who thought placing a feather in one's cap made them a dandy. So, you're telling me that stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni would be like saying wrote a G on his belt and called it Gucci. That's a pretty good analogy, actually. U.S. moron came to town hunting for some Gucci, wrote a G up on his belt, and this bitch called it Gucci. Oh, is me Spotify. I just wanted to know if by shuffle you meant normal style or horrible, terrible, useless, worst style. Actually, I'm gonna assume horrible, terrible, or useless, worst style. People who tell me I shouldn't drink lava. The media. People who lie. The media. Conclusion. I am going to drink lava. I am a geologist with no association to the media, and I would not recommend drinking lava. Get a load of big geology trying to oppress the voice of the people. Teach the controversy. Drink the lava. I hope Fortress gets a mega form, because then we'll all be forced to use... Dwarves are short, powerfully built, with presumably strong circulatory system, and a culturally strong warrior ethos as well, as a cultural tradition of strong and intricate craftsmanship. All of these factors make them ideal jet fighter pilots. Oh shit! And then that leads to dwarven astronauts. Good with cramped conditions, modules that are designed to let astronauts get their hands into wiring if they need to, rugged designs, less likely to go stir crazy if they don't get out in open air. They'd be incredible! Guy I have a crush on looks exactly like this. We've been fucking. <laughs>